tano kwa sababu ya jioni hii ya leo ambayo nilifanya kwetu sisi na ni siku jema ambayo tumekusanyika mahali hapa our ropas ndio tuweze kugraduate na when i want to congratulate you congratulations congratulations thank you okay sipio siku mefanya kazi mzuri ah asante kwa sababu ya siku hii ambayo bwana imeifanya tuweze kugraduate na ndio tuendelee vizuri tutaweza kuinuka sisi wote tuweze kuimba wimbo wetu wa kwanza cha
yetuweza kujua ni kina nani wamekuwa kishiriki katika kutekeleza hii kazi ya kuwa ya kufanya ropes iwe what it is today and what you can be able to celebrate today so i want to give this chance to coordinator grades ndio na yeye waweze kusimama na kujulisha mentors wenye wamekuwa kufanya hii kazi na naye coordinator grades and your mentors Mungu 20 21. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa yote ambayo ametutendea. Nimekuwa kama coordinator wa girls na ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu tumekuwa tukiwa na mentors na nitampa nafasi na ili akaweza kujiintroduce. scriptures 
Secondly, we were taught how to journal in our day-to-day -day lives. We were told that journaling helps you to feel your feelings, thoughts, ideas, and even emotions. Some of us, maybe if you're not open to speak with people one-on-one, -on -one, when you're given a book, you can actually write everything you're feeling on that day. If somebody has a you, if you're happy, if you're exhausted, if you're tired, you're given all that time to just sit down and journal what you feel. And that's what I really appreciate our methods for. Later on, we also wrote down our old behaviors in our childhood before we pass into adulthood. And you are told each and every silly thing we used to do in our childhood, either good or bad, we wrote it down and then we made a small fire and we burnt all of it. And this was just to symbolize how we have got, how we have been growing from childhood into adulthood now. And really appreciate it. Because right now as young women, we are now seeing life from a different point of view and we really thank our mentors for that and they stay with us for that. And our next lesson after was the fasting. Fasting here, many of us had never fasted in a one of them. Personally, I've never fasted. Dry fasting, absolute fasting, wet fasting, I had never fasted. So when we're being taught how to fast, it was a new experience for most of us. Some have fasted, others have not fasted. And then you remember that first event, so today we're learning about fasting. When you just watch, you're just going to learn about it, but we actually did it practically. Later on, we followed our mentors into the camping ground, the camping site, and we mounted our own tent where we spend two, four hours there. We view yourself and God with you and interact with the fresh nature around you, which was actually a good exposure to many of us because most of the time we're usually in our outfits due to coronavirus, but this was a new experience for many of us. And then I remember we used to sit there with your whistles if you need anything, Mr. Gladys is there, Mr. Gabani is there, Mr. Mary is there, and we really appreciate it everything. And you remember during that process, each one of us was given an apple as a temptation per se. And it was really tempting. Really, really tempting. Because hunger is rising and the clock is ticking. You're waiting for 24 minutes to be over, you go for supper, you go for lunch. It's not ending. It's actually going slow. And then some of us persevered and others had to give in to that. But it was a good experience, you must say. In addition to that, we were, after fasting, our mentors prepared a very good supper for us, which we appreciate each more, because hunger was when you speak, and it gave us a chance to relax. Thankfully, none of us vomited, as I know of, which was actually a good sign for that. And as I move on, on, our, on 14 April, Facilitators were invited from the women's guild and they came to teach us how to cook as we continued growing up. Previously, we had been given a test to cook for ourselves and it did not go well. It did not go well. <laughs> we were given, um, we were supposed to cook ugali, we were supposed to cook um, rice, we were supposed to cook like ugali, nyama, and cabbage. When you're using one sufuria, mostly, <laughs> The easier part, no one started with guy, but mixing the onions, the tomatoes, uneka, cabbage, and then jia, cabbage, uneka, nyoma, that one did not go very well. But when the women guild came, they gave us, they made us see life from a different point of view. Because mostly, um, I think it was my first time to see different recipes other than home. For example, cooking sweet mandazis with Chef Winnie, slaughtering chicken with Chef Mirika. It was a good experience. Even that time when you're being told to chase after the chicken, hold it. It was fun and exciting. Giggles, laughter. All in all, it was a good day. And yes, we still thank you for that. Following that, I would also like to say that lessons also followed later till a practical lesson on sound sharing came. And you're being told sound sharing is 
a long meditative walk where you're supposed to be two meters apart from each other and you're making a single line towards the field. You go around collecting what you feel has impacted you in a way or you feel like you need to know something about it. By the time we were finishing and the sunset was approaching, it was relaxing, calm. By the time you're in the class and you're discussing what you've seen, what you've experienced, how you feel about the environment now, how you learned different things. There are some insects you learned, we drew some. And yes, it was all a good experience. And after all that, I, I can say that it has fully changed our lives. And it was, mem it was mesmerizing. Because in the end, as we graduate, we're leaving this camp with something in our hearts, in our minds, and in our souls. And our mentors, thank you for being mother figures for us in here. Because most of the times, usually with our parents at home, they go to work, we stay at home, nothing. But now, when you go there, you can surprise them. You have cooked supper, you have cooked lunch. No more sitting around and lazy, but keep on trying new things from a different way. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for keeping us on track and on our toes. Hiring from here to the other end, rushing, and keeping us disciplined in every way. We still thank you for that very much. And as I conclude, I would like to thank our stakeholders for making this possible. Thank you for organizing this ROPE organization. It's a very good thing. And as I continue growing up, maybe one day or someday, I'll come here back and help other girls from where I was mm -hmm. to build up where they were. Mm -hmm. And thank you. Thank you. Surprising, yeah? But thank you so much. The speech was good. We thank God. We've seen that you have learned a lot, eh? You have learned a lot. Go and exercise it at home. Continue cooking and doing those those other things that we taught you about home food. And you become very, very good girls. Eh? Now we want to have a representative of our stand, Paris. Come and say something small yeah. as we proceed. What is good? Oh, yes. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. Like I see you're happy, our legs, the boat, and our doctors. Good evening. Good evening. We are glad as a parent to labor, studying for all the parents for girls. And I'm really happy when I hear what you have learned here. I'll first give thanks to the mentors. They have done, done, done a great job. Because on us, even on the WhatsApp group, we noted as parents, we have failed somewhere. Mabona cooking, Nanda na Skuma. Well, as we know, Yama Diogu, Gumu Sana. But we are going to make sure the foundation you are given, it and the layer that has started. I also thank the board for the platform you have given us parents. We have been comfortably at home, comfortably at our workplace when we have brought the, our children here. So we thank you, thank you, thank you very much for taking that care, care for and to our children. And we are so, so much grateful. For the ropers, I want to advise you on one thing. Girls, sometimes back when I was in high school, long time ago, there was this belief that chemistry and physics, just for an example, ngumu sana kwa And if you registered that, 
Obviously, Uriangu, Uriangu, and that is what we call fear. I want to encourage you to fear sana. Tunaelewana? What does fear mean? F stands for force. False evidence appearing real. It seems to be real. When you are told this one cannot be, you can't make it as, you make it as a girl. You just register it as if it's real. But it's a false evidence. So let us take care as girls and also the foundation that we have been given by our able mentors here. The Christian foundation. It's very good. It will cost you nothing to be disciplined. It will cost you nothing. It will cost you nothing to be respectful. But it will cost you a lot if you do the vice versa. If you are not respectful, if you are indisciplined, it will cost you a lot. So fear the Lord and still go on with this good foundation that has been put unto you. God bless you all. nitawambia kitu kidogo. Hii kitu tunaambiwa wakati tulikuwa wadogo hata nyinyi. Tulikuwa tunawaambia, tunaambiwa na wazazi wetu. Si mnasikia kikuyu? Kenya keji kalero. Nikio keigaga. Kenya keji kalero. Jikalero ni vile tunakalia, si ndio? Na ndio nime demonstrate hapa haikuanguka, ndio imejikalisha, si ndio? na vile hivyo ndio wasichana wanakuwa na apart from the hiyo uh, delicate ya ya hiyo kitu hii kitu tunaweza ukifungua hapa ikuna mambo unaweza weka ndani kama vile nimesoma kwa sababu sitaki kuongea mambo mingi si mmesoma na nimesikia yes. mambo mingi 
ya kupika spiritual na hiyo ingine yote kuna mambo sasa nyingi iwaamatiwa and i believe so kwa sababu nilikuwa na mimi na nimesikia vile tumeongereshwa hii ni kependekeza iwe bank yen ukiweka ukikikapo hapo kuna pahali unaweza kuja mambo na ukiangalia hiyo kiki si ni beautiful kwa hivyo ujifanye wewe hiyo ndio kiki wewe die mwenyewe ujipe jina na ujitanishe na hiyo kitu kama ni mimi Yunis na Nikolai niwe na jitanisha na hiyo kitu hata kama mimi ni Jenke Tito na yale nimesoma hapa Lofi ya, ya 2021 Dijipe jina Dijipe Dogora Dogora Price Eh hey. I must be variable Sidiyo Not cheap kama gumu Sibuda kwa gumu am kuinje Eh Na maroro ni po Sikui na kwa roko Eh hey. must be variable kia gania kuna kutuka kuna graduates hiyo ni kine uwe exams kwa talent and even the community sitio kwa we mwenyewe ndio una una unajisikia hivyo na unajiweka hivyo must be creative si atiri kila saa ni duka nini ni pe nini itakupeleka pahali mbaya kama nikupika na nimesikia vile sitaki kurudisha kurudia unaweza add kitchen kwa sababu nao you can make it add una unaweka vitu mingi si ndio you create tasty food si ndio kama ni maguo kuna bed sheet zile zinaruka unachukua unakatakata you decorate na hata kama ni kurudi tunaenda shule hakuna kuoba si ndio be strong in home and even in school igine na rukarukia nigi be attentive unasikiliza na tena si kurudishiana huko huko na huko unarudishia kama ni mzazi amekwambia ebu fulani fanya mimi tu ah ah kwa sababu nao si wewe ni grown up nao wewe si mtoto hiyo ingine be watchful wewe ujiagali eh yeah. si kuagali wana mtu kwa sababu ujue tukiwa na kuko na uko nje tutakuta watu sitaki kuwaita majina mabaya kwa sababu ni wetu bado ni wetu si ndio lakini mtakuta watu wengi either wasichana wavulana na hiyo ingine siku dakajaganywa kwa sababu wewe umei umeiva si ndio kama ni hiyo huo hivi ndio unavaa kama ni kwenda kanisa kwa sababu nyinyi tumeidia kwa kanisa si ndio tumefunzwa hiyo mambo yote tumelishwa kiroho na tumelishwa kimwi na kwa sababu we are all beautiful ebu imagine si mnajua kuna tu watu wengine tunavalia kusumbura kwa watu wanavaa hii wale hawajaokoka wanaita tu watu washume mnatujua eh yeah? hii yes. mujue guo ya ya ile hiyo guo unavaa ukienda kanisa kuna nguo ya kanisa jua kama baba yako akiwa eh yeah? na hiyo najua mmefungwa si kuenda kama ati unapitia hapa unamrushia na huku nyumba si ndio eh yeah? we usikae hata hiyo kumha sasa hiyo haya eh yeah, najua hiyo tu na hii ndio nataka hiyo mambo yote yatamane ukiiona unajio unajiona na kwa sababu zidaki
kuna mapo ya ya reso siku onye sana nike nike oba ta kuka moja kwa onye se kwa sababu kiwa o fuga na harafa ni wa onye se vire kuta muna fuga na na ikara na ile maana tumewapeni hii reso inapaje ni inshara ya kuonyesha utakatifu purity si ndio yeah hatutaki hatuke wape kara red hatuke wape kara black hatuke wape kara ingine tunataka hii kara hii uwe uwe you uwe pure purity usiguzwe na mtu yeyote allow me to speak kwa sababu hata mama watawaadia wale wa mama wa mama ma zenu ni wazuri kwa sababu wa wale waliwaleta hapa wengine hamtawajua hivyo tugetaka ukae na utakatifu si kwenda kudaganyiwa huko nje na tujijana ati na kupenda mimi na mimi na mimi ukae 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 bila kuguzwa na mtu tumesikia yes. yeah hata kuchekeshwa mtu asikuchekese ati asikuguza guze si mnajua na hiyo mambo mmeambiwa tugetaka hii leso wakati ukifika mkisoma mkimaliza mkienda kazi hii leso uibebe siku ya kuoleka si ndio eh yeah? na utashukuru Mungu kwa sababu wewe you will be a victor si ndio eh umetoria ni wewe tukete to dona venio na dona ya kagwe yaku ya mwere giko na ata meciria na kiria kingi tuma mugie na maundu macio ri ni gwitigira ngai bwana asikwe mumestuka ya si mumeso ba hiyo mambo yote sitaidia da bila kini ili leso wacha yule mungu atakubariki na wewe akute wewe hakuna mungu wewe hakuna kitu kingine imekuguza hakuna mtu amekuguza wewe ni mrembo wa Yesu si ndio na atafurahia na kila siku atakuheshimu wacheni kwa kifunge leso na tunakinga si nimesema mambo ya hiyo guo hiyo kuguo kuba hapana kuguza kufiche hii part na hata hapa hii ni kitu yako na mwenye utaenda kukaa na yeye si ndio eh tunafanya hivi unapima waste yako kila mtu anaona yes. unafuga hapa alafu ndaiweka vizuri imekaa vizuri na ikikaa hivyo hiyo itakuwa ishara hata kwa mwenye atakuoa na hata kwa Mungu atakuwa hata yeye anakupenda na anakubariki kwa sababu atakukaa unakaa vizuri unakaa vizuri maisha si competition muna kutakuta wengine watawaambia vile umekuwa mimi muone wengine wanaenda wako na tu boyfriend na wako na mambo mengine kama huna kazi yale mambo nimewaambia na mengine mengi mazuri soma bibiria na hiyo ingine be creative na mambo mengi na kukana mama yako kuwa na rafiki tafuta rafiki na na especially hawa muwe kumchukue contact zao na hata sisi wa mama kwa sababu tugetaka tuwe na girls guild si ndio muge mkependa ku kutujoin yeah wale wa PCA yes. eh alafu mkienda na kule simameni vizuri ili watu wakiwaona ye yeah, mtakuwa chungi tasty ya ya, ya watu wa wengine wa wakuha ai wale wa meda rukse ya PCA ai uko ni kuzuri si ndio na muwe tochi 
mkiwa mulikia wengine watatupenda na watakuja na tutabarikiwa tukiwa so god bless you So you have to keep yourself vizuri and to be careful about your life because when you it might bleed yeah? and still have a future. Wakati huu itaita kodi ni tagrabes kwa sababu ya theme na ili have a song to present. Are we together of us? Yes. I want to bring go. Pass in one chapter four verse twelve. It says, Let us no one despise you. Set a good example. challenging uh, and some uh, for, for fun and helping us also to realize maybe the potential that is in us. So we are so grateful for everybody who has participated. We have our mentors uh, who have been of great, great help because without the mentors then we would not have been able to achieve what we have achieved. So we thank God for them, for the board and they have introduced themselves here Tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili yao tuwasema Mungu awabariki. Wa mama wetu wa Omas Guild, our mom here, uh, Mrs. Wando uh, for the advice and uh, the mentorship that you have given to the girls. We want to thank God uh, kwamba hayo mambo yote tukiyashika tutakuwa uh, wasichana ambao wanaheshimika watu ambao hata Mungu akiwa binguni atafurahia. We also have uh, my wife here, Mama Mburu, ninajua amekuwa nani uh, for some lessons and we thank God for her participation. So now we have come to the end of our stay here in the camp. We will be going home tomorrow in the morning. You will be joining your parents, your guardians and uh, those that you stay with. And we want to believe that we have given you tools, adequate tools for you to face life outside. So, and as our theme is, that let no one despise you, set a good example.
So in case there is anyone who can despise you, you are going to prove him or her wrong. Kama kuna mtu atakuja kukuchezea afikiri wewe ni msichana wa kawaida kama wale wengine wa kucheza wachezewa hata uh, kama vile tumeambiwa na mama wewe utajiprove that you are not that type of girl you you are different amen? amen and you are going to set an example to the other girls that you can overcome the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 that's what i want us to share very briefly because i know we have learned many things atutaki tusome mambo mengi sasa zaidi we want to charge you to give permission you as you go out with the words of Matthew chapter 10 the ones that Jesus told his disciples and his followers that i am sending you out like sheep among wolves therefore be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves i'm sending you out like sheep among wolves be as shrewd as snakes and as well as innocent as doves there are some other versions that says be as wise as snakes and harmless as doves ya kiswahili inasema angalieni mimi na watuma kama kondoo kati ya mbwa mwitu basi iweni na busara kama nyoka na kuwa watu wa pole kama huwa ama jua, jiwa Kiswahili kingine kinawaita jiwa Jesus understood the environment outside that is why he is advising his disciples alijua kule nje kuna watu wanakaa kama mbwa mwitu kuna wolves and even today there are wolves and when we are talking about the land the one of Jesus ni nyama ambaye kwa familia ya Mungu lakini yeye ni mungu wa kidogo ni mungu wa kawaida and the other thing with him is he is a wild animal anakaa huko nje kwa misitu and he is a carnivorous for that nature for that matter so he feeds on meat and so a sheep who is very innocent eh, kondoo hana mambo mengi yeye hataki kukosea na nini na mambo yale mengine so he is a very easy prey ama ni kitoleo kizuri cha kuliwa na wolf sababu yeye hana mambo mengi hajui kuwinda lakini huu anajua kuwinda and the same thing applies to our lives today kwamba kule nje tunaenda kukaa na kuchanganyika na watu na kuna yale ambayo nakumbuka tuliongea maji jana kuna wengi ambao wanaweza kuwa kama ni hao kwa mwitu kati kati yetu lakini lazima tujue jinsi ya kukaa na kujikinga na mbwa mwitu hao so that we are not going to be easy prey to their tactics and evil uh, evil plans against us sisi ndio tutajiringa and Jesus is telling the disciples that be wise then we need wisdom we need wisdom in order for us to overcome life outside there na part of the wisdom we have given you since day one when you came here some is endurance na mambo yale mengine ambayo tumesoma na tukasema hata i think is yesterday tulisema sitaki vitu vya bure sababu wengine wanaingizwa katika mambo mabaya sababu ya kupenda vitu vya bure na kuishi maisha ambayo si ya standard yao be content with what you have but again work hard so wolf wolf that is spelled w o r l f ina maanisha nini w means is hali for win we and it is a we o starts for hall l starts for loose and then the other letter is f starts for fight so any wolf that you meet across wherever you are wherever you go in a manisha we or lose fight can you say that we or lose fight again we or lose fight there are many circumstances that appears like they are wolf we can compare them to the wolf 
And if we are not able to make wise decisions, to make the right choices, we may find ourselves in sin. Life is about making choices. It's about choosing the right thing. So we charge you this evening, being very sure that ukizingatia yale tumewasomesha na yale tutaendelea mkisoma sababu masomo hayana mwisho and still you need to be mentored even when you go out there and I hope you carry the numbers for the mentors you will carry them as you go so that you can keep yourself informed mentorship continues a lot just with these mentors that we have you can look for a mentor not even one, several who will mentor you in different things. I'm happy to hear that some of you came and had Gerela to pick up the story. That is not our major to pick up. And I'm sure they didn't have our pickup in Madikeshop. When I was a speaker, he was able to finish our last video about you. One was a police officer. We need mentorship even as we go out. But let us know that Dunia na wale watu ambao tunakaa na wao wengine ni kama mbwa mwitu ambao hawatakutakia mazuri but it is you who is going to be wise on how to live with those people and once you devise ways of living with them you will set a good example to others amen, amen. and you have all that it takes you can set a good example Hallelujah. Amen. And with God, everything is possible. So we are setting you out not as losers. We are setting you out as winners. Amen. Amen. You are not losers. You are winners. You are not to be led in the wrong way. Lakini wewe ni wakuongoza wale wengine kwa jia zire mzuri. Na watakuwa wanasema, wow, this is a role model to be followed. I'm happy for, for her. She has said that uh, they will be involved in mentoring others. And indeed, we need mentors. We need many, many mentors so that this program will continue. So you are part of that. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are saying there are many wolves. And wolves to Mesema is win or lose fights. Lakini wewe, you are a winner. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. To see Mami, it is us at Wombe as we commission you out to go out now. Nasema, Asante, Nasema, Asante, Nasema, For my life, for my parents, for my guardians, my teachers, my fellow colleagues, and the church. Thank you for all those who have participated in making me who I am today. Thank you for seeing me through a successful transition from childhood to adulthood. From childhood to adulthood. And, now, Lord, and now, Lord, I commit my life to you that you may guide me, that you may show me the way, that you may fight my battles that you may direct all my steps. I declare I am a winner and not a loser. Help me and guide me always 
to choose the right things, to make wise decisions, and to remain a good model. Help me to achieve my dreams and to always be your faithful follower. Amen. Let's continue in prayer. Our God and our Father, we are so grateful. Lord, you have given to us as a church these young girls so that we can mentor and show them the right way to follow and to give them a foundation of life so that they may face adult life with knowledge and courage and with understanding that comes from you. We want to thank you for the days they have been able to stay here and for the many teachings they have gone through uh, in this place. We thank you for the mentorship and for the life skills lessons and other lessons that have been uh, of good help to these people. We are so grateful. And now I commit them to you, Lord, that you help them to overcome the challenges that comes by this stage they are in, in the name of Jesus. And there is none that shall fall to be a prayer. And uh, that, dear Lord, you help them to stand firm and to be a good example to others, people to be emulated and people to be followed. Help them to be wise in their decision making. And Lord, help them that in every place they go, they'll be able to affect the lives of others positively in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you for their parents, for guardians, and everyone who stays with them. That there will be good mentors to them and they will help them to be able to start well and especially in you, Jehovah God. This time as they look forward to go to high school, I commit them to you. The Lord, you will continue opening doors in their lives and you will connect them to the right secondary schools where they will also be educated in the right way. They will find good co companies, good teachers who will be of good help to them. Provide for each and everything they need on the way so that finally they will be able to come out of secondary schools successfully in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for each and everything, and even to remember all their needs again this evening. The Lord, you shall provide for them, for the Bible says, Siova and God belong to you. Those that could be going through certain challenges at home, Lord, I pray that you help them, that those challenges will not be a hindrance for them to walk successfully to their destiny. May you guide them through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We honor and we thank you, O oh God, for everything. Thank you for the Church of Jesus Christ and especially as PCA who runs this program. May you continue to give us wisdom and forever not to make us useful and helpful to the community here and even without. So that, Lord, this program will be a great blessing to the young girls. We want to believe in you, God, and to commit ourselves to you, that you will bless and be with all of us. We honor and we bless your holy name. And now I commission you that go forth into the world in peace, in joy, ready to win. May you not be losers but winners. And now may the Lord keep you and guide you in everything you will go through. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God bless you. We are happy for you. And uh, as you go home tomorrow, I know you'll be going to celebrate. Sababu mtihani umetoka na tunajua umepita vizuri. Na tulisema ile ambayo umepata ndiyo yako. Usijusumbue na mabu mengi. What you have received is yours. And kuna mtu walisema, do, uh, do not just look for success, but look for value addition, or rather add value to yourself. Usiangalie tu mambo ya kusucceed, lakini angalia mambo ya kujueka value. You can be successive, but you are not valuable. May God bless you. And we wish you all the best. Na tukikutana kuingine, tuwe tunasalimiana.
wale ambao ni wakanisa yetu la PCA sasa mtaenda na mta join uh, the YGM ya wanayu wanaika na implement that kwa hiyo wale ambao si wa PCA you have your own church make sure you go to your church that is the only place you can we are sure you can get the right mentorship guided by the word of god and because we are Christians we follow the word of god and we wish that all of us will be uh, members and active participants in our churches uh, so that finally at the end of everything because katika maisha haya hatuka kama milele tutarudi kwa mungu we will be able to live with our lord and savior jesus christ god bless you tukitoka hapa tukienda nyumbani kesho it is you to go and prove yourself that unaweza simamia ile jambo umesema you can be able to stand unaweza make decision yenye decision yenye umele you can still uh, stand for that decision and you are responsible of your rights eh si ndio you are responsible of your rights the skills that you have learned go and exercise them tukienda nyumbani ndio at least usiweze kufanya nini kusahau tuko na tutakuwa na follow up program tutakuwa na follow up program na kwa hivyo tutawaambia wakati tutakuwa na hiyo follow up program kwa sababu huwa tuna follow kama vile tunasema you set a good example sima you must come back so that you can follow tuangalie kama you are setting a good example si ndio so wewe uende shule lakini ujue tutakuita and then tutakwambia kama you are still setting a good example example we will communicate that to your parents wakati ukifika na tunajua covid itaenda chini na tutarudi katika hali za kawaida na hayo mambo mengine mengine yote yataendelea kwa hivyo mimi nawaambia asanteni sana kwa kuwa wasichana wazuri muende na baraka za Bwana muweze kubarikiwa thank you